Hi, I'm Terry Kress with Nautel's Customer Service Department. Today, I'll be covering how to set up email notification on Nautel's NV transmitter using the advanced user interface. Presently, I'm re I am remotely connected to an NV5 transmitter in our offices. In order for the email function to work properly, we must first establish the transmitter's IP address. To do this, you must be standing in front of the transmitter and it must be set in local mode. Your network administrator should be consulted to determine applicable IP numbers prior to starting the procedure. So, we'll navigate to the network screen. Select Menu, Software Configuration, and Network. <clears throat> the network must allow ports 80 843 and 3501 to be open for remote access. Nautel recommends a firewall system be installed external to the transmitter for security purposes. So in this screen we have two choices, either DHCP or static IP. DHCP is a dynamic configuration. When selected it means the IP address is automatically assigned by your DHCP server. The disadvantage of this method is users may not know the assigned address of the transmitter if it ever changes. When selected, the fields below will be, will be filled in automatically if we press apply. For this demonstration, we're going to choose static IP. This option allows users to manually entered predetermined address information. So in our test transmitter I've already entered the three fields. You can enter those and press the apply button. When you press apply we'll save the values. If you select the undo all button it will take ch changes you've entered in these three fields and revert back to previously saved values. The drawback of sta static IP setup is if two computers are on the same network and they are set to the same address values, there could be network conflicts. Once the IP address information is established, users will have the ability to remotely access the AUI using a web browser. We can now move on to setting up the email notification system. So we'll select the email configuration screen. We have to fill in all four fields. The server name can be the IP address of your external email server program or it can be the applicable text name if a DNS server is running. In this case, we're going to use the text name applicable to Nautel's internal system. <clears throat> Nautel's email system uses the SMTP standard through port 25 to send notifications from the transmitter to the user's external email server. The user's email server constructs and sends emails to the recipients. The transmitter's notification software requires connection to an unsecured email server. This means no username or password is required. Again, it's highly recommended that you consult your network administrator for additional help. In the client name section, we must add free text. This Will, be, will appear as text in the subject line and the body of the received email message. I suggest a descriptive name to clearly identify the transmitter the message is coming from. The sender name must be a standard email format ending in something such as .com, .org, etc. The leading text is free so you can enter whatever you like. The sender name appears as the information in the from field on the received email. 
The sender name must be in standard email format ending in .com, .org, etc. The leading text is free. The sender name appears as the frame from name on the received email. To save the changes, we press the Apply button. At this point, it's recommended that we try a test. If we press the Test button, we can enter a valid email address of a recipient. So choose your own. Enter the email address and press OK. A sample email will be sent to that recipient. So if this system works, we know the IT path from the transmitter to the recipient is valid and working well. Now we move on to the notification section. In here, we have the ability to create lists of recipients and the names of the faults, in which case they'll be notified. So first we get to create lists. So we'll press add. Notification name is free text. I recommend using descriptive language. Recipient email field contains the target audience and it must be a valid email they must be valid email addresses. You can enter multiple recipients in this field. They must be separated by a semicolon and no spaces. Now we choose which alarms we want in our selected alarms field. In this case we have the controller selected and we have a list of applicable controller alarms. So I'll choose this one and push it into the list. I can choose multiple alarms so I'll choose this one and another one. We can also choose alarms from the Exciter section. So when we select Exciter, we have another list. So I'll just choose, let's say, an audio loss situation and push it into the list. There are alarms for the RF modules as well. I'll just choose one of these. If we want to modify the list and delete an entry, I simply highlight it and push it back. When we are satisfied with the list, we press OK. And now the list is saved. We can create multiple lists. So we'll add a second list. And in this case, I'm going to use a, a very simple example, one which may be of more interest to management. I'll choose the very, very low power alarm. So if the transmitter is operating at exceptional, exceptionally low power due to faults and failures, this is, this is a situation where managers may be interested. So we'll add that and press OK. Now we have two separate lists. We can, we can now update any of the lists by highlighting one of the lists and pressing the update button and modify as applicable. If you want to delete the lists, highlight it and press the delete button. This concludes our 
IP and email notification setup demonstration. If you have any questions, feel free to contact Nautel's Customer Service Department at any time. Thank you.